Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to make particles on Adobe After Effects. So the first thing you want to do, go to Composition, New Composition. None of this matters, just hit OK. And then, so now you have access to this right here. Right click on it, hit New, Solid. Again, this doesn't matter, just hit OK. Go to Effect. Where is it? Generate gradient ramp and then I think I think that's actually a really cool background so that's why I say gradient ramp because it looks really cool in my opinion all right so I'm gonna set you can you can do it you can do whatever you want I'm just setting mine to these colors right here so I think that looks cool in my opinion so you're done with that right click this again new solid and then this this does matter this color right here will be the color of your particles. So, if I want my particles to be kind of like a little bluish color. Okay, that's purple, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you can go down, when you finish that, just hit OK. And then you can go down to Effect, Simulation, Particle, no, CC Particle World. And then with this little current time indicator thing, go to around the two second mark. And then you should have this menu right here. Go to grid and guides. And then uncheck grid right here. And then you can go to that. Next you want to go to producer. And then, <clears throat> since this is kind of looking all like volcanic and stuff, I don't think you want that if you want to feel the particles. So what you can do, you can... Uh, you can just drag this, and then it's going to space out the particles. See? Isn't that cool? Yeah, I uh, know. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, so I don't I don't want lines as my particles, but I think that's spaced out. I think that's spaced out enough. So you can just get out of that. And then physics. And then ve velocity, if it's 1, that means that it's not going like straight down. It's kind of going at angles. So if I just want it to go straight down... Type in zero. That's all you have to do. And then as you can see, there's no really curves or anything. And then, for gravity, this kind of determines how fast either up or down your particles are going. So, if I want the particles to be going up, I have to put negative before it. And I will just set it to like negative 0.2 or something, so it's just going up and it's going pretty slow. But, if you want it to be going down, just take away the negative and then the uh put that to whatever you want. You just have to you just really have to play around with it and then see see what you like how fast you want it to go. And then that's good for that. Go to particle and then go to the drop down box. You have all of these choices. You have line, I don't like that personally. You have star you have faded you have faded no shaded sphere faded sphere and we can go down textured faded disk. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, I guess all of those are nothing. That's odd. Lens bubble. That's cool. Lens dark and fade. So, and then this cube. That's kind of cool. So, I think, I think I'll go with this for now. <clears throat> Wait, actually. Hold on. I'm pretty sure you, yeah, alright, so, also right here, under opacity map, you, no, is that it? No, 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 I take that back, okay, so, but, right here, it says color map, and then if it's set at birth to death, the birth color, it's kind of yellow, so you can, you can just change it to whatever you want, actually, so, so I, I take it back at the beginning when I said that, uh, whatever color you choose at the beginning will be the color of your particle, so I take that back, so, Let's say I want one to be kind of white, and I want one to be kind of blue. Yeah, so that looks really cool. You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna change it to this. Oh what? Hold on. Yeah. So what I notice is that some of them, like for example, this, you can only have one color really, which is kind of weird. But for something like this, there's two different colors. See, so. Let's say 
yeah, so it goes down. And then, yeah, you can you can just play around with all of this stuff, and it <clears throat> after you finish it, it's really cool. I mean, I already did all the steps, and look, it's I'll show you how it looks. So after you get it rendered and stuff like that, it'll it'll go at the real speed, and it's actually really really cool. And then I can you can just use them you can use them for like intros stuff like that. And yeah, so lens like they're really cool. I don't know. So yeah, so this one if I want to save it, I think I'll stick with this one. And look, so as you can see, they're going down. When you go to physics, if you go to gravity, if you put the negative beforehand, before it, watch what happens now. Wait, okay, ready? As you can see, it's going up. So yeah, that's what the gravity's for. So yeah, guys, if you, if you enjoyed this video and you now know how to make particles, if this helped you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really shows support in the channel. And it really makes me happy, and if you have any questions at all, please, please, just leave it in the comments, for God's sake. And I will try my hardest to answer them. If I can't, well, too bad. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Have a good day now. <laughs> Alright, guys, see ya.